guys. My name is Cecil and I was a student of the i5 batch of the Brilliant Repeaters program. Um, and now I'm planning to join IIT Kanpur. Last year my rank in JEE mains was about 70,000 and advanced I didn't even clear the cutoff. Uh, this year on the other hand my rank in JEE mains is now about 5,500 and advanced I got 2,195. Brilliant is now awarding me a cash prize of uh, 10,000. So now I'm going to talk a little about my experience in Brilliant. So according to me, uh, the team at Brilliant tries its very best to bring the best out of every child. The, the, these, this is re clearly reflected in the initiatives they took during the lockdown. They started WhatsApp groups with the uh, students so that the students could interact and clear each other's doubts. They immediately uh, gave us the numbers of all the faculty members. They even started live webinars in which uh, solutions to the tough problems in the internal exams conducted by Brilliant were discussed and the students could uh, clarify all their doubts in these portals. Now personally for me uh, the most influential uh, person in the Brilliant team was my class teacher Vinil sir. This was because I felt that he always supported all of his uh, students li like his own children and even during the lockdown he would personally call each one of us and keep us motivated. I remember that uh, during the initial half of the lockdown, my rank in the uh, exams conducted by Brilliant was about 120 to 160. So I was really down during this period. Despite this, uh, Vinil sir would uh, continue to call me and keep his faith in me and make me feel like I could really do it. And in the final J advanced, my rank among the students in Brilliant was 26. Then my peer group also had a huge role to play as uh, watching them study helped me improve my own methods of study. Basically having a better group, it pushes you out of your comfort zone and that's where the real growth happens. It forces you to try out new ideas. So now I'm going to talk about some of my personal methods of preparation. So the main problems I faced during my preparation were improper revision strategies and uh, careless mistakes while solving the problem. So to address the first problem, what I did was I would make a daily list of good problems and relevant facts that I came across during my preparation and I would periodically review them over the month. So basically what I feel is that uh, reviewing the same problem a second or third time it often gives you a new approach or a new perspective to, with which you can view the problem. And this really uh, helps me uh, deepen my understanding of the concepts. Now my uh, careless errors, they were mainly due to two problems. The first being that I always consider the calculation aspect of solving a problem as too trivial. And this also reflected in the accuracy of my calculations. So to fix this, what I did was I would, I stopped using a calculator and I focused more on getting the right answer rather than getting an answer quickly. And the second uh, part of the problem was Often while solving uh, problems, I would lose focus. So this was because I uh, I didn't really keep a track of the approaches which I had already tried on the problem. And this would make me try the same approach which didn't work multiple times, hence leading to wastage of time. So I would consciously uh, tell myself what step or operation I'm going to perform and what exactly I expect after uh, doing this on paper. So this helped me uh, improve my uh, patience and focus while solving the problems. So now I'm going to talk about my 3R exam strategy. So what I did was I divided uh, 3 hours into 7 different sessions and in each session I would attempt uh, one subject. So the order in which I attempted the subject was PCM, CPCM. And as you can see there's a chemistry session between every physics and maths. So this was mainly because I thought that maths and physics were, were more mentally exhausting than chemistry and, chemi and chemistry could effectively act as a break between them. And the reason I attempted physics first was because it was my favorite subject. So the key takeaway is that uh, you find out the specific problems you're facing and keep on trying out new ideas until you fix it. So now I'm going to talk about some of the books I used during my uh, preparation as a repeater. For chemistry theory, I mostly went with NCRT and occasionally a book called Chitranjan Bhakta. Resonance is also really good. 
for uh, practice problems Himanshu Pandey and MS Chavan both are fairly good books you could go with any and physical chemistry problems I would definitely recommend NRST as I found it a really good book and inorganic I mostly went with NCRT and occasionally where I felt the theory wasn't enough I would also refer to JD Lee so do check out the syllabus for chemistry as JE Advance publishes it every year and some of the topics for JE mains might not uh, be there for JE Advance and strictly stick to syllabus as you'll get trapped otherwise as the inorganic portions is otherwise very wide vast for maths and physics uh, I would mostly just solve question papers and the good problems in that and occasionally for physics I would uh, refer to HC Vama or uh, Resnick and Halliday for theory finally all of this was only possible due to the combined efforts of all the directors like George sir the entire brilliant team the prayers and support of all my well-wishers and my personal efforts so all the best to everybody who's watching this and thank you